collective welcome back guys so we're gonna do a separation reading we're going to focus on what is going on with the person that is on your mind we're gonna see how this individual really is feeling about this connection if they plan to do anything in regards to this separation and definitely get you guys an outcome guys before we get started please don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification bell if this reading is resonating for you guys and you would like additional clarity in your situation please don't hesitate to book a reading with me the information is in the description box below universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians please help me give the collective clear and concise messages so we're going to start with the overall focus on this individual we're going to see how he or she is feeling about you what is the overall energy with the person that is on my collective's mind the universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy the other target ending bottom of the deck contemplation so definitely 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 this person is going through a hard time right now in regards to this ending with you sorry i don't know you guys can see that card um when it comes to this other energy here i feel that this individual is concerned that you might start dating other people um because i feel like they, they're in this place where they're thinking that you might be seeing somebody new and with this target here they are strategizing to win you back because they do miss you but this ending is very, very hard for this person. I feel like they think about what is the best way to come towards you. Jealousy. So what's going on, Collective? Did you choose a third party? Did you walk away from your person because of a third party? Because generally, people tend to walk away from us because of third parties you know what i mean but i i gotta be honest with you i feel like this person is picturing you with somebody else they're getting very jealous um they're they're having a very hard time with the separation here with you universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians what is this overall energy here with this person the change there's a change something is about to transform in this situation for you collective so if you ended this relationship because you have chosen to go towards another person your person from your past is wanting to come back towards you now if they chose a third party because that could have very well happened as well they're wanting to come back in because something has changed here. There's an apology coming in. What is this overall energy here for the collective universe? So somebody chose another situation. Okay, yes, indeed. Somebody did choose another situation. There was some interference. I feel like this person is... is I feel like this person made the wrong choice. Or you made the wrong choice. But there's something about fighting for this connection. There is an apology that's coming in. What is this person? They're alone time. In this time of separation, I feel like this person is really trying to balance out their emotions, their thoughts, and their actions in regards to this connection. What is this universe? Yeah, self-love. Someone here is really in this energy where they're just trying to love on themselves. Holding on. What is this holding on universe? Moving secretly. I feel like this person, you have no idea, Collective, that this person is is planning this return. They're holding on to you without you even knowing. And they're secretly moving towards you. There's a change that's about to happen in this situation. If somebody walked away towards a third party, that third party situation did not work out. This person views you as their perfect match. 
And regardless that you guys are perfect match, this is definitely one of those relationships where there's a lot of love and hate. You know what I mean? You love to hate them, you hate to love them. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here with the person on my collective's mind? They feel restricted. So they, if you if you have this person um, blocked, they feel that restriction, okay? Um, they feel like things that are going on with you, you're holding them back from like knowing things from you. Does that make sense? They ran from this connection. They chose another situation. They accepted another offer and they got rejected. Yeah, empty stage. So you know what it is, collective, is that I feel like your person decided to walk away towards a third party or they felt like the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And that was the worst decision that they've ever made. They took that risk. Three's a crowd, bam. Yeah, they took the risk with the third party. Your person took that risk with the third party and now there is a lot of remorse and there's a lot of rejection in that situation. They chose the wrong person. What is this overall energy here for the collective universe? Please help me give them clarity. So now this person is wanting to balance this out. What do they want to balance out, universe? Because they have a lot of regrets. Holy shit, I just said that. This person has a lot of regrets for choosing that third party. They let their ego control this situation. They allowed their ego to run this situation. And now they regret that. So... This person is like one of those energies where you have a secret admirer that you have no idea of. You know, you're doing your thing. You're handling your business. You're, you're going out and about. And this individual is spying on you with this player card. The other jealousy. I feel like this person is starting to, it's starting to get into their head that you could potentially move on and move forward with someone else. And that is causing them a lot of jealousy. They're jealous of you. They're afraid that you're going to find someone new. They regret choosing the third party. Yeah, they were very foolish. Every time I say something about this third party, it, it, it confirms it. That that third party situation was a stupid move. So with the celebration here, this person is wanting to celebrate this union, this reunion, this reconciliation. Wow, I just said it. This person wants to celebrate this reconciliation with you. Okay, it came right out. So collective, what I'm getting from this situation is that I feel like this person decided to walk towards a third party. They decided to walk away from you and go to that third party. And that third party was the biggest regret of their life. Now they're spying on you. They're keeping an eye on you. They're becoming jealous of your moves, of the things that you're doing. You might be posting a lot of things on social media and this person is starting to become jealous. So now they're planning. They're planning to come towards you. They're planning to re reunite with you. They're planning to win you back. I feel like they're going to apologize profusely for choosing the third party because they want you back in their life. This person is going to apologize like nobody's business. All right, guys. So let's see. Here. All right. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Please help me give the collective clear and concise messages regarding the situation, please. What is the overall energy here between the collective and the person that is on their mind universe? Sorry, guys. I was putting the volume down. What is the overall energy here between the collective and the person that is on their mind? So I feel overall between you and this person, you both are still holding back from each other. Okay. Um... You might be hyper-focused on your finances and your career. You're doing your thing. You're handling your business. I feel like you, you might even be posting things on social media and this person is seeing it. This is why he or she is starting to have a hard time in the separation. Because they're seeing you glow up. They're seeing you be successful without them. Okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you told them. You warned them. I'm going to be good with or without you. And you're living up to that warning. So this person is in that place where they're like, they're afraid because you have been holding back. I don't know if they've tried to message you and you have not responded to them or you might just have them blocked. But this person is dealing with some fear because they're seeing you move on and move forward. Yeah, five of wands energy. So I feel like this individual, 
Look it. This individual wants to come in and they want to resolve this dispute with you. They want to resolve this 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 conflict. They want to release this tension, but you are in this king of swords in the reverse energy. I feel like for those that this reading is resonating for, you got this person blocked on all levels, okay? You got them blocked. There is no way that this person can communicate with you in any which way, shape, or form. And if they have any opportunity to get into your social media, it might not even be through their stuff because you might have them blocked, but they're seeing you through other people's social medias. <clears throat> so let's see. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is their energy towards the collective universe? How is the person on their mind feeling at this given moment about the collective? How are they feeling about the collective, please? How is this person feeling about the collective? Four of Wands, energy. Holy crap. They feel like you are their soulmate. They want to celebrate your trials, your tribulations, your triumphs. They want to be part of your life in the good and in the bad. You can very well be dealing with the fire sign energy, but I feel like this individual here with the four of wands energy, their true feelings towards you is that they want a new beginning here. They do. This time, if you were to give this person a chance, they want to marry you. Okay. They want to marry you. They want to grow old with you. They want this new beginning with you. Okay. I feel like this person, the more he or she is been kept away from this situation, the more the want of coming towards the situation. Okay. It's like they're feeling more and more anxious to be able to come towards you. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. How is the collective feeling towards this person? How is the collective feeling towards them? Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You're telling, you might even be saying, nah, it's not going to work. They've already crossed that line with me. They went towards that third party. I don't know why they went towards my friend, I heard. So for some of you guys, they went with one of your friends, okay? You feel like you're, you're in this place right now. You're an emperor energy right now, collective. You are good all by yourself, okay? And the fact that this person wants to come back towards you, you're shaking your head and you're telling yourself, nah, mm-mm. This wouldn't work out. I'm not willing to work with this. Uh, you don't have that want or that energy. Not unless this person brings in emperor energy towards you. You're not going to do anything in regards to it. Okay? I feel like you're in a place right now. Like if this person really honestly wants to win you back. Whew, they're going to have to. They're going to have to go through some hoops of fire to win you back. Okay? Because you are not going to put the same energy you put in in the past. You are not. You're an emperor. It's like you leveled up in the past. You could have been feeling like, you know, you could have feel, felt a little bit less than, if that makes sense. But in this time of separation, the way you have rebuilt yourself, the way you've put yourself in this, in this energy that you're in right now, you know for a fact you're an emperor, okay? And this person is going to have to come in with the same energy that you currently have now. Universe, archangels, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians. <clears throat> How does this person feel? about the separation with the collective how are they feeling about the separation with the collective how do they feel what do they think about this universe the queen of pentacles energy here they want to nurture this i feel like they want to make an offer they, they want to get back in a grounded stable energy with you nine of wands energy like this you see how this queen of pentacles is just staring down she looks like she's lonely she's sad even though she has everything around her that makes her a good queen of pentacles she feels the loneliness and this is how your person feels right now they feel lonely they feel abandoned they feel like will my collective accept this offer nine of wands energy but they're also in this place where they're like i'm willing to fight for this like i am willing to go to war for this person just as long as they give me another opportunity to prove to them that i can be the emperor the empress that they desire i feel like your person right now is very much in their thoughts and in their mind in regards to being able to bring the stability that is desired in this connection or is required better yet okay so, yeah, Eight of Swords energy. This person right now really wants to get out of his or her thoughts, okay? They really want to leave the past in the past. And they're going to do whatever it takes to help you forgive them for whatever they did to you in the past and forget the past as well. What is the collective thinking about this separation? How does the collective think and feel in regards to this separation universe? 
<clears throat> two of wands energy you're already moving on and you are moving forward i feel like whatever grief you went through with this person whatever heartache this person caused you is like you're starting to move on and move forward yes you've done a massive glow up yes you've done a financial gain yes you have done a lot of things for yourself but at the same time secretly these emotions that you've kind of been keeping to yourself you're still working through them okay with the two of wands energy there's times where you might even sit there and think to yourself like why did this happen we were happy we, we had everything but it's like you've already gotten to a point in your life where you're just like you know what it's time to move on and move forward you're choosing another path and you are choosing to move away from the sadness the negativity the despair universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what would this person like to tell my collective at this given moment what would they like to tell the collective at this moment the world here the queen of swords energy in the reverse this person wants the silent treatment to end they want to tell you that they need you to hear them out okay this whole silent treatment the fact that you have them blocked the fact that you refused to communicate with them they want to tell you that this one they want this to stop because they have something to tell you here they have something to inform you here in regards to this situation what is it that they have to tell the collective universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Seven of Pentacles energy that they miss you. They miss you and they want to be with you and they want to work on this situation again. They want to show you that they have matured, that they're no longer the same person that they were months ago, maybe even years ago, and that they, they're, they're willing to bring much more to the table. With the Seven of Pentacles energy here, I do feel like this person is in this place where... They've, they've earned some type of success. They've worked on something and they have results to show you. Okay. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What would the collective like to say to this person at this moment? What would the collective like to say to this person at this moment, Universe? Something flipped. The Ten of Wands energy in the reverse. Gotta be honest, Collective, I feel like you if you had an opportunity to talk to this person right now, I feel like you would make it very clear to them that you have already released this. That you have no time to entertain burdens. You have no time to entertain procrastination. Like, you are not willing to, to, to lose any more time on a situation. It's like you're already thinking that... The second this person comes towards you, I'm just gonna tell them what it is. I'm even if if it, whoops, even if we get into this argument, even if we start arguing about, I'm gonna. It's like you're you're planning to come to a war, okay? Like you already plan to come to war because you're gonna tell this person, I'm not, I'm not for this. I don't want to deal with this. You're a cheater. You're like there's things that you have held on in this whole time that you have not told this person that you want to release and let them know universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians so right now at this moment right now if this person were to stand right in front of you you would most likely tell them off okay i should you not you would tell them off in a heartbeat what is this person's next moves towards my collective universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians what moves are they planning here towards the collective please the fool they want to take a leap of faith towards you they want a fresh start, a new beginning here. They want to show you that they have changed. They want to show you that they have a desire to start this connection all over again. To be able to prove to you that they can be the person that you've always wanted them to be. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, That they're no longer going to be this controlling, this obnoxious, this arrogant individual that they're they're wanting to move on and move forward with you but you might be looking at them as the king of pentacles in the reverse you were like oh really what have you done to better yourself like, i don't see anything okay so i do feel like you're, you're dealing with someone who is really preparing his or herself to come in with stability here okay yeah knight of swords energy this person will be rushing in i gotta be honest with you collective whether you like it or you don't this person is going to end up rushing in what is the collective's next moves to the situation if this person comes towards them? What are their actions and moves in this situation? The Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. Can I tell you something, collective? You are going to be very clear to this person. And I feel like even though this might not be true, you're gonna tell them, you know what? I don't love, I don't love, I don't love you. I don't want this anymore. Like you're good, you're gonna wanna make this person suffer because they made you suffer. Okay? So 
I got to be honest with you guys. Just be careful with the words that you use with this individual because you might end up crossing a line where you're so full of anger. And I get it. Maybe this person doesn't deserve your kindness. I get it. Before anybody starts putting things on, on, on my comments or, or starts uh, unsubscribing, I get it. This person might not might not deserve your loving, kind, supportive energy, but you are being told to attempt to hold back from all this emotional instability and try to listen to this person with the Page of Swords energy because I do feel like they want to come in and they want to clear something up with you. This is an energy of them wanting to come in and bring in new ideas to potentially be able to fix this situation. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. <clears throat> What is the possible outcome in this separation universe? What can my collective possibly expect if they're willing to work on this situation? What can they expect? The judgment. <sighs> collective, I know that you're going to be a little bit worried and afraid to give this person a second chance. But truth be told, this might just be worth it. Two of Cups energy, the judgment. This person is human. They made a mistake. They're a dumbass. I get it. I got you. I totally understand it. But... If you really do love this person and you would really give them a chance. I'm talking about a real chance, okay? Because I know for some of you guys, these per this person has burned you to another level, okay? But for those of you guys that are able to forgive and possibly even forget, you, you can find love in this situation again. You really can. I feel like you can. You and this person could get back to that beautiful loving energy where you can actually trust them again. Okay, the wheel of fortune. Wow. The outcome in this situation is that I feel collective if this person comes correct to the table and shows you and tells you and explains to you exactly what he or she need to do, you might even give them a second opportunity here. Yep, magician. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have manifested this person in the past. Um, somewhere along the line, you probably gave up on that manifestation. Um, you just left it in God's hand and the manifestation is being presented to you today. I also feel like this person is in this energy where <clears throat> he or she might be praying and manifesting their own damn selves to bump into you or for you to unblock them to be able to talk to you. But I do feel like this is going to be a magical time if you do decide to give this person another opportunity. So what is the final advice here for the collective regarding this situation? What final advice do we have here for them, universe? So three of wands energy in the upright. So there is definitely some victorious forward movement. I feel like you and this individual will be able to get past this conflict just as long as this important conversation is had here. Two of swords energy. It's time to clear out what no longer serves a purpose. It's time to get things balanced out between you and this person. You got to start trusting your intuition in this process. I get it. You might be upset and there's things that you want to tell this person. But intuitively, you need to listen to that because your intuition might even be telling you, we're bringing this person back to you because he or she has changed. And it's time for you guys to move forward in this beautiful, committed type of energy here. <clears throat> Knight of Cups energy. <sighs> this person is going to apologize. It is going to be your choice whether or not you want to accept this person's apologies, but they're going to apologize. For some of you guys, they may even cry, okay? But universe is giving you this advice that if you do choose to accept this apology, you may be able, if you do do it with an open heart and, and a want of, of wanting to heal this connection, you may be able to balance this relationship and actually have a harmonious, equal give and take with this person it's really all going to, to boil down to if you want this and if you're willing to heal this relationship with this person i get it they screwed up they went towards a third party the third party could have even been a friend of yours okay now you feel backstabbed or you feel betrayed i get it but this person is coming back though okay i feel like they made a horrible mistake and they are coming back because they do want this connection with you they recognize that they're in love with you and i just feel like this person is going to fight for this till the end of time it is your choice though collective whether or not you choose to want to deal with this person okay all right guys i really do hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed please don't forget to like share subscribe click that notification bell and if anyone is interested in a personal reading the information is in the description box below i'll talk to you guys soon take care